So we did a little research into what happened to the lens out at Graves Light and the Smithsonian, it turns out, uh, took it out and they put it in a crate and it's just sitting in a warehouse and we figured that's never gonna come back. But we really wanted to see if we could get a lens to put in because they're so cool. And uh, found a couple pieces in Chicago, uh, some of these top pieces from a, a dealer. And then we kind of hit a treasure trove where we found about four or five pieces in Australia from a guy. And we bought those and we thought, we'll just make a little bit of a display. And then the guy said, well, if you're really interested, I think I might know a guy who has a couple more in Tasmania. So he found those for us. And then we found a couple more. And then we got to about halfway and uh, we figured there's just no point in collecting more unless you could make an entire lens. And he remembered this guy that he found in a couple of barrels under a gum tree in Perth, Australia, prisms, hundreds of prisms from a first order lens. And so what we did was we took some of these original panels and we took them apart and made measurements of them. And then we brought them to a machine shop and we made these panels out of those antique prisms, but new frames. So they're optically correct. And this gentleman took a laser and put it on the inside and was able to tune all the pieces to appear on a wall really far away so that he knew that the pieces were correct. And then we made an armature that's inside, my son and I, uh, out of brass and to fit all the pieces together. So come around this way. There's a little access door here. And now you're inside the lens, which has an interesting sound to it all by itself. So this armature is, is this frame. There's like a ring that comes around here and there's another one here. And that frame is a ring that holds all the pieces and keeps them from falling apart. These struts here we acquired, they're from a first order lens and uh, they just happened to be enough of them to make one complete lens. So we were lucky to have that. And then also in Tasmania, this fellow found pieces of a, a turntable to spin it on chariot wheels. And so that's in another building right now and we're working on that. We're machining new bearings for it and new gearing for it to run on an electric motor because the original lens would just run on a, a weight and a clock mechanism. Um, but we don't wanna to have to wind it all the time. We want it to work all the time. The beauty of these lenses is they all come apart. So they were made, this was made in uh, Birmingham, England. And uh, this panel here is one piece. And we put it in a crate and we'll take it out there and put it back up. They all have little numbers stamped on them. So we made a diagram of how they're going to go. And so there really isn't any piece of this lens that weighs over 150 pounds. So we're able probably to take two or three at a time out in our boat, hoist it up to the top, and we'll bring the bottom pieces first so that we can start to build this thing, uh, almost like the Empire State Building where they started making all the beams for the first floor first, and then they, they'd make the beams as they went. We'll just build this thing in pieces until we get to the top.